And tonight we're getting a devastating first-hand look at the site of that music festival where more than 250 people were killed by Hamas. Raf Sanchez reports on a night of joy interrupted by terror. The sun was rising, but the music played on. Three and a half thousand young people at the Supernova Music Festival dancing into the early hours. At first, moments of confusion. And then, sheer terror. Heavily armed Hamas gunmen closing in from all sides. Some joining a desperate stampede across the fields. Others hiding and praying for rescue. I saw a group of girls in the car, just so afraid to get out. And I, I realized that even if they're going to stay there, they're going to get killed. So just take them and scream at them just to run so fast. It's because I understand that if the people that get free, they're going to die. More than 260 people killed in a massacre that went on for hours. Others kidnapped and dragged into Gaza. Today, we walked to the ghostly site ourselves. This was a place of music, a place of joy, a place of dancing. And now there is just a deathly, deathly silence here. People had been making art. They were expressing themselves. And many of the people here are likely to have lost their lives. We walked among the ransacked suitcases, personal documents, and an empty bar still lined with half-finished bottles. The silence briefly shattered. Israeli troops are running to the other side of the festival. We've heard gunfire. It seems like somebody has come in. This Palestinian man carrying a knife, according to the Israeli military, had somehow entered the grounds. He was quickly detained. With the site so vast, Israeli authorities struggled to collect all the bodies. Aria Ricardo's family waiting four agonizing days before she was confirmed dead. And for the Israeli military, the festival site today echoes with painful questions. There are so many families across Israel asking, where was the army? Why didn't they stop this? What do you tell those families? I tell them it's the responsibility of the army. It's the responsibility of the army, of the army for the intelligence. It's our responsibility to guard the people of Israel. We failed on Saturday. This is our responsibility. But now we're fighting. Fighting to make sure what happened here never happens again. And Raf, tonight we're hearing reports of a shooting in Jerusalem. That's right, Lester. Israeli police say a terrorist armed with a submachine gun shot and wounded two officers. And that's raising fears that the violence in Gaza could spread to Jerusalem and the occupied West Bank. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.